they can't veto anything. So, so it's it's a fairer group of people. Though it might not always be the male. You can't always guarantee. The thing about if you have a United Nations, you have to go with the fact that you have to include all nations, and you have to put up with it. And the only reason why you get why it works is because there's so many people. You've got such a diversity of opinion that, you know, you hope that the good washes out of it. But I have to say my experience of the United Nations over the last three years is that the United States is really the dominant force there. They're the world superpower. It's quite clear when you go there. Right. And I, and I guess that's why it's it's obvious why this is such such an important thing. Uh, Rand Paul famously filibustered just several years ago, pointing out the fact that we don't have any laws on the books dealing with how the U.S. can target Americans on U.S. soil with these drones. And no, that's right. there's nothing set up. No, I mean, it's a, well, I mean, I think there would be a lot of complaint if you did. <laughs> but there was a very close case. If you remember, there was that. I can't remember his name. It was about a year ago, two years ago, that guy who was had been a law enforcement officer and he was a homicidal maniac and he had escaped and he'd gone to this shack and they sent out a drone and they would have killed him with the drone, but instead they set fire to the shack and killed him that way. Right, yeah, that was a huge conspiracy here and a lot of things going on with that. Uh, well, Noel Sharkey, thank you so much, uh, AI expert. And I think this is going to be a huge issue in the days coming forward. I know Matt Drudge, that was one of the topics he kept pointing out over and over again while he was here, is to just keep our eyes on this technology, how yes. it's going to be augmenting our our reality uh, as well as our culture. And obviously, autonomous weapons is a huge deal. Who's going to be in control of these things? Uh, well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Leanne. A pleasure to be on the program. Thank you. Bye.